yes, we can yes we can see the PDF and your presentation. Yes, we can see it. Okay, hello. Hello. I'm, I'm Oksana Pichugin. I'm representing the National Aerospace University Kharkiv Aviation Institute. And my co author for, for, for another presentation is Olha Matsi. He, he, she, uh, she represents Karazin Kharkiv's National University. So, uh, my two, uh, two of my presentation will be dedicated to problems of, v of VL VLSI design uh, when a computer chi solved for, chi for chip design, for chip design problems. When a computer chip is designed, uh, several steps of uh, VLSI design closure uh, has, uh, are performed. Each of them is associated with a number of constraints According to topology presented in literature, there are main constraint, uh, seven, seven main constraint type, uh, types. Uh, 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 there are economic, uh, re reliability, performance, power, signal integrity, rel uh, reliability, and yield. Each of the constraints can be integrated into objective function on the other one hand, and uh, also it is associated with a, a certain uh, VLSI uh, problem, a task. And uh, um, among these tasks are placement problems, routing problems, timing, optimization problem, etc. Due to high complexity of this problem, commonly they, uh, they are solved uh, consecutively. As a result, they give uh, the they provide not a global optimal solution to the problem of optimal design of chips, but a good uh, approximate solution. And my presentation uh, will be or presentation will be about two of such problems. One of them is a placement problem, which is solved normally first. And uh, second is routing problem. There is an illustration. So on the first, there, are, there is an illustration of a chip. There are five modules on the chip. They, are, they have rectangular shapes and uh, they, they, uh, they can be reoriented. Uh, 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 so rotated by uh, 90 degrees. Uh, and uh, so the, the chip, the, 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 uh, more, uh, the chips has to have to be uh, inside the, the module, uh, and also they are not uh, overlap, uh, uh, and uh, uh, they are not overlapping. There are two constraints for the modules. And, uh, and the routing problems. Routing problems, uh, we have a scheme how which modules have to be uh, uh, connected. We have a scheme of the virus and there are virus can be, uh, can be also, the, can be also follow only uh, uh, horizontal and uh, vertical lines and also connection at certain points. So this is a representation of, uh, uh, these uh, two problems. So my presentation will be pro uh, mostly about uh, mathematical modeling because, because I'm representing mathematical modeling parts. Uh, so first problem is the following. On a rectangular micro, micro circuit with the length L and height H, it is necessary to arrange N modules, which form, form a set M or MI with, with a certain length and height in order to minimize a measure of, of the placement ram randomness of the module or house of the modules. Um, uh, uh, while the modules can be rotated into by 90 degree. Measure of uh, the randomness will be the following. Uh, uh, our, our goal to put the modules as much as possible, like horizontally and, uh, and vertically one by one. Um, so, uh, and uh, the, that is why by measure of the randomness, we, we mean that uh, for two modules that are uh, like a number of models allocated diagonally from it and uh, 
not horizontally and uh, vertically. And for all the modules, it will be a total number of modules situated diagonally for, from each other. And uh, we, uh, we, we, I formed uh, uh, constructed the mathematical models and uh, in the mathematical models, uh, three vectors X, Y, T has to be found as well as long vector Z. And I will describe later what is it. Uh, and um, here, to, to this X and Y are real, uh, real vectors, uh, real valued vectors, while T is a Boolean vector, and Z it's a it's a set, it's an element of also Boolean, but specific uh, combinatorial set uh, that is uh, will be described a later. And this, uh, the total degree of randomness is represented by the following objective function. Uh, so for uh, constraints, a block of constraints, is there are placement uh, constraint, uh, placement constraints that oh, each each model has to be inside of the of the uh, uh, of the chip, uh, <clears throat> uh, no for oh, no, non-overlapping constraint. Yeah, normally the uh, no, uh, overlapping constraint are represented in the form of non-linear non-linear uh, constraint. But our goal here is to to build a line linear model in order to do this. We this <clears throat> this additional uh, Boolean variables are introduced, and it it allowed to. to Reduce this uh, linear constraint and uh, respectively solve uh, the problem by a linear solver supporting binary uh, variables. And uh, also, our this randomness, uh, total randomness uh, uh, parameters are represented uh, through these additional Boolean variables. And here, x and y, x and y are vector of coordinates of. Uh, of uh, pole, pole of the chips, which which are situated on the left bottom corner of the modulus, and respectively, uh, we have to account this uh, when we we, uh, we put the modulus inside. That is why we uh, evaluate these additional parameters. And then, uh, additional variables, uh, Boolean variables T represent uh, R1 if model is rotated, uh, otherwise it is zero. And Z, this, uh, this, uh, this uh, array represent uh, relative position of uh, couple of more, of each of uh, couple of models, uh, namely, it is equal to one if uh, the model I is located uh, on the left from model G, uh, right, uh, lower and higher. And uh, uh, any two models that are not overlapped, they can be, uh, they have one or two variables equal to one among them that and these variables are, uh, formed uh, this combinatorial set, uh, set which we introduced, and all the variables uh, are elements of this uh, Cartesian product, product of such sets. And uh, uh, another, so this is a general formulation to the, of the problem. And now there are two specific cases are considered for the problem. One of them that allows uh, modulus to be. Uh, uh, to be uh, uh, squares, and uh, in this case, we like uh, separate uh, square and rectangular modulus, 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 and uh, for them, for them, we don't introduce the variables uh, related to reorientation, re re and this simplifies the problem a little. And this is uh, mathematical models uh, where. A non-overlapping constraint consists of uh, four, four blocks uh, where each of the combination of these two sets are con is considered. And one more problem is a problem where we don't allow the uh, reorientation is the model will be much, much simpler, but uh, the generalized problem allows to solve uh, such problems better. Of course, and uh, uh, if we take a look into the model, we see that there are some Boolean constraints there, and also linear constraints. So, so the classification, the, the classification of the problem, it's linear, 
partially Boolean optimization problems that can be solved uh, by, gen by general optimi linear optimizers that su support the uh, integer uh, and uh, Boolean variables. Uh, but uh, in our program implementation, our program implementation was done uh, uh, in form of uh, with help of uh, C sharp, and it was developed a web service uh, based on ASP and Net Web Forms. And uh, here, all, everything what is uh, here described uh, in, in further. It's, uh, it is about the implementation, the technical part of the implementation, but the main idea is to form a large, uh, huge matrix. So we represent our model depending on all the input uh, in, in form of um, uh, extended matrix that we can uh, uh, that we then use further for, uh, for optimization. So what we, we have done, and uh, so the, the, the the matrix that represent all the, uh, the above constraints are formed in the form of txt file. And then uh, our, our idea is to uh, solve the problem then uh, to optimality with help of uh, cutting plane method, combinatorial cutting plane, plane method that we propose. But for that, uh, for, <coughs> for, for that, uh, GPL algorithm library is used. And now we work on implementation of this cutting plane method. Also, all this, uh, all the metrics, because it is saved, we can also upload, download it to uh, such servers like uh, um, AP Opt server. I will talk about later that report this. Uh, then, uh, uh, then also such as CPLX and Guru B, such solvers also support now zero one variables. So we can uh, we can at least uh, uh, we can uh, we can we can solve the problem using this method. So we uh, we are ready, and it's it's an our plan first. So this is uh, about the uh, first model. And so assume that we have found the location and we know how to locate the, the modules. And uh, also in constraint, we can take into account that there is, uh, it should be a gap between them. Uh, but the next presentation is about solving the routing problem on such chip. We assume that chips are already located on the, on the module. Uh, so module is on the chip. It's depending on situation what we can call uh, so modules. And uh, now we have to connect them uh, by wires according uh, in legal according the the rule. So legally connect them. So this is my second presentation and. Uh, Uh, so here we attack routing problems, and uh, it is formulated like there is a chip of uh, of length and weight, uh, which are natural natural numbers. Uh, the chip also contains uh, contains modulus uh, uh, of integer size, which forms a set M. Among them are modulus A and B. And it is required to construct the shortest path between this uh, model A and B, which satisfies the following constraint. Path, uh, condition one, path begins and ends, uh, and, and the metal virus connection point of the modulus. Uh, metal virus connection point of, of all the modules are placed at nodes of integer lattice. So we have integer lattice. And uh, our connection point are also depicted here. So it can be on the border, but here I represented it like this. So there is the integer wire, uh, <coughs> integer grid. <coughs> Next condition is that uh, the path can pass only through nodes of the integer lattice. So of course, the path is formed from vertical and horizontal segments, and the path does not cross other models than A and B. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> next slide is about 
first again constructing a mathematical models, uh, and it will be uh, presented. We we can have constructed several model models. Uh, part of them is uh, combina uh, just combinatorial. It's, this means that they can be solved by uh, these solvers because of presence this uh, no general solvers uh, because of presence these combinatorial constraints. Uh, and uh, next one is so-called Euclidean combinatorial problems, where this uh, uh, combinatorial constraints uh, uh, we represent in form of uh, normal some function or uh, functionally represent the constraint. For instance, uh, we have first uh, first conditions that. Uh, uh, our starting point have to be a set of so uh, among coordinates of metal virus connection points of a model A. So this is a combinatorial constraint. So how to say uh, to computer that we, uh, we, we restrict uh, the consideration only to this point. So this is combinatorial and such constraints can be, uh, can be used, uh, can be successfully applied when you develop a heuristic approaches. But if you uh, try to solve the problem to optimality, it is it, it has to be represented in other form. Uh, <clears throat> next one, uh, uh, when we, uh, we know the starting points and the rest of the path can be represented in the form of zero minus one, one uh, vectors, two vectors x and y, where x is responsible for uh, horizontal moving and y for vertical moving. And where zero means that we stay at the position, minus one we go to the left or to the bottom, um, to, um, and uh, one uh, to the right and to the uh, and high. And always uh, we can uh, knowing the dimension of the of the a chip uh, of the chip, we can always uh, estimate and say what is the maximum road length between these two uh, points. So another combinatorial condition that uh, final points also have to be among these uh, uh, legal points. And uh, uh, and next uh, next uh, condition uh, is that uh, the rest points have to be uh, also, among uh, so the amount point do, do, uh, is uh, cannot intersect with uh, other mod uh, model is other than A and B. Uh, also, there is uh, uh, because we we are not allow uh, diagonal moving. The, that is why uh, each pairs of x and y will be. Uh, uh, will will be uh, the product will be equal to one to zero. This is one condition, and then um, uh, we form uh, uh, we form some some reformulation to the, of the model that, that always ha also have. Uh, this is our objective function. It is represented in functional form. Constraint is also represented in, in uh, such form, which is equivalent to previous constraints. The only thing is with this three combinatorial constraint. Uh, constraint. And next step is, is forming an analytical representation of this constraint. This is first constraint. This means that uh, the, this product will be always zero because at least one point uh, cons uh, will be a point, a legal point of the model A. The same for B, the same for all the paths. Uh, uh, the only thing that uh, uh, we have also this combinatorial constraint that uh, X can be all, all zero, one, minus one. Uh, it is possible sometimes uh, to put such constraint into mathematical model, the modern mathematical solvers. But also we can represent the same uh, a constraint in analytic form, it's the so-called uh, continuous form, in form of uh, such cubic relations. And uh, this finalizes uh, 
uh, and form another model, which is exactly nonlinear model. It is a polynomial optimization model, which can be solved by the corresponding nonlinear solver, general nonlinear solvers. And next part of the modeling relates to generalization of the model related to A, B, to all, uh, all the chip. Uh, so this, this here we assume the same uh, conditions and their generalization we form for uh, each pair of the model is on the chip. And uh, there is also polynomial optimization problem. And uh, then we have implemented this model, uh, model mo last model, which, uh, which do, does, don't have uh, insight uh, in their form uh, combinatorial relations. We implemented in the Python, uh, namely in the optim optimization package GECA. Uh, uh, and GECA allows uh, to implement this model without zero, one, and minus one constraint. Uh, and uh, uh, there are two uh, more solvers I implemented in GECA. One of them is IPOPT, APOPT, and another is IPOPT. The IPOPT does not allow uh, zero, one variables, while this is allowed. So that is why depending on the uh, com, uh, depending on the formula formulation we applied to one or another set of variables and uh, the, our result is the following that ipo showed a certain advantage over apo result uh, when we took uh, <clears throat> lengths of the uh, of the model 10 by 10 not sold up to 10 by 10 and uh, also there is an area on the modulus were up uh, from 60 to 80 persons. Mm -hmm. So this is my presentation. So I uh, entered the illustration example of what you saw earlier. This is, it gives us a, an optimal solution. This is the shortest path, it's clear. And it, uh, because uh, this is, uh, and uh, and some kind of representation of this solution in for in such a model, uh, and uh, also uh, so this is like illustration what we what we saw. So as a result, we uh, we saw uh, we solved two problems, so consecutive problems, and uh, and. Uh, 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 there are many uh, improvement um, can be done here. One of them, it can be solved also problem uh, in addition to just uh, placement the, the modulus uh, problem of minimizing, minimizing uh, uh, size of the chip, which is also important problem in, in this. Uh, and also these two problems can be combined and, and sometimes solved uh, to, together. And uh, I hope that the solution will be even better. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Oksana. Thank you for your presentation. Uh, maybe there are some questions for our author, Oksana Pichurina. If not, maybe I will. Uh, oh, oh. Uh, okay. Uh, I will ask maybe Oksana a question, short question. Did I get it right that uh, you have found um, already prepared pieces of software for your pro to solve your problems, or you had to to have some software? developed for your purposes specifically so uh, yeah i actually we use we use uh, the software which is able but uh, there is no cut and plain method that we try to implement it is method that is uh, that is our method so that is why this part uh, from this uh, model that i shown you this mm -hmm. uh, matrix representation to implementing uh, linear so software so solvers like uh, like CPLX or Gurabi, we have to also to do our part, which implements yeah. our cutting. And this is another topic, so I don't <laughs> want to cover it here. Yes, thank you very much. I understand. Of course, there's supposed to be something for your specific purposes because you have a new method. That is why you needed it. Okay, thank you very much, Oksana. Maybe there are more questions from our colleagues. Okay. Okay. No questions. Thank you, Oksana, very much. Thank you very much. 
And I know that we have uh, one more author. Uh, did I get it right that Roman Miroshnik, Igor Matvi, uh, Yulia? Yes. Voy Yes, it's you're here. Okay. Um, yes, hello. Hello, your hello. colleague. Uh, sorry, it took, well, we had some little changes in time in scheduling. Well, you're on, at most at time, uh, but uh, you waited a little bit. Uh, Roman, be so kind to start your presentation. The title, okay. while Roman is starting, that I will name the title, The Current Trends in Knowledge Management, Problems and Challenges. Please. Uh, hello, yeah. The floor is yours. Uh, this is my presentation. Not yet, but almost. Okay, we, we, no, no, no. We, we saw some pieces of okay, it. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, one minute. Okay, yes. Yes. Uh, good afternoon, dear colleague. The topic of our uh, report is current trends in knowledge management, problem and challenge. Um, <clears throat> the effective knowledge management should be one of the priorities of enterprise development as Europe integration intensifies competition and requires research for better methods and knowledge management. As the experience of the world's leading countries shows that uh, foreign business pay considerable attention to the process of knowledge generation, dating, and rational management of knowledge in the process of production and commer uh, commercial activities. In Ukraine, a similar process and processing uh, too slow, oftentimes domestic enterprises will not be able to compete with foreign competitors uh, due to that knowledge, which is reflected in, in competitive goods and service in the market. Uh, knowledge for the company is a combination of experience, values of the organization, uh, context, contextual information, assessment, which form a common framework to adapt new experience and information. Uh, that is knowledge acts as a product of enterprise, as subject of final cons conception, as a pro productive resources, as a means uh, of transaction and profit holding. A necessity knowledge management arose in enterprise as available to the need to transform knowledge into an asset that can uh, en enhance the level of competitive advantage of any organization. Uh, the huge poten potential of human capital and intellectual cap assets is in shaping and maintaining the long-term success of any enterprise has formed a fiery new direction of research in economics and management, which uh, attracts the attention of many scientists around the world. Uh, the problem of knowledge generation and management has been studied by both foreign and domestic scientists. Uh, the authors used a set of scientific uh, methods, in particular content analysis, to justify the feasibility of studying knowledge in the context of the management system, uh, dynamic modeling to build trends in the volume of public publication area arrays on the subject, uh, comprehensive relation to summar summarize the results of the analysis of the indication system, a uh, correlation regression analysis to assess the dependence of some indicators from other that characterize the ob object of study, uh, tabular and graphical methods, uh, compact presentation, and visualization of data. And knowledge management is closely linked to innovation and in innovation activity. Uh, modern business, the modern business uh, condition of domestic enterprise and characterized by a number of problems and obstacles that uh, do not allow enterprises to effectively manage their knowledge. Uh, <clears throat> such barriers include lack of experience in innovation by business entities, lack of funds for research in, in preferred uh, legislation and according standards. There is no legal term intellectual capital in Ukraine law, which makes it difficult for manager and analysts to measure the value of knowledge, the value of intellectual capital. 
part of the knowledge of business entities is represented by intangible assets. Uh, <clears throat> uh, to study the, the trend of knowledge management in Ukraine, we use the date of state statistic commit, uh, which gives a partial picture of this situation. Uh, the volume of capital investment in the activity of Ukraine enterprise for the period 2014-2020 is study which is shown below in table one. As can be seen from table one, the total capital investment increased uh, significantly during the analysis period as this dynamics of, of growth of total capital investment from 2015 to 2020. <clears throat> Uh, <clears throat> the capital investment of in intangible assets is primary interest of our study, which partially reflects the investment of funds in, in intellectual capital and knowledge of the enterprise. It can be seen that the amount of investment in, in intangible assets or economic entities is different year with different was different. Uh, the investments in intangible assets made by enterprises were divided into two large groups. Uh, first group uh, rise to commercial design, uh, uh, the commercial des uh, design and rights, object of industrial property, copyrights, and uh, uh, patents, license, consensions. Okay. And two group software and database. Uh, regarding first group of investment in intangible assets, the volume of investment by economic entities were different during the different uh, periods. Uh, regarding of second group um, of investment in intangible assets, uh, software and database, there is a trend of annual growth, which may indicate the interest of business in, invest in invest investing in this type of intellectual capital in, in order to accumulate and develop knowledge of enterprise. Uh, fig figure one shows the model of dependence of cost on the rights uh, to commercial designation and the amount of investment in intangible assets. Uh, figure two um, uh, <clears throat> shows polynomial regression model. This is a model of polynomial of the independent variable degree two in the first course and the before in the second course, uh, respectively, in, in the presence of a strong and very strong relationship. <clears throat> uh, as um, can be seen from table two, the total cost of research and development carried out by Ukrainian business in, uh, 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 <clears throat> uh, and during the business increased annually during the period 2015-2020. Uh, Figure uh, three shows the dependence of the cost of fundamental research from the cost of research and development is correlated with a linear relationship in the presence of very strong uh, correlation. Uh, figure four uh, shows the relationship between the cost of our research and the cost of research and development in, is also linear in the presence of strong correla correlations. As can be seen from table three, the cost of innovation of economic entities in Ukraine for the period 2015-2020 were different. As for the cost of innovation, the funds were mainly spent on research and development and other type of cost. <clears throat> um, yes. Uh, <clears throat> uh, for domestic enterprise, uh, uh -huh, and Figure show uh, the dependence of research and development cost of innovation cost in this model as, uh, as a polynomial of the independent variable of four degree in the presence of very strong advantage ships. Uh, <clears throat> uh, for domestic enterprise, it's necessary uh, to develop methods and process of knowledge management to adapt uh, the experience and methods of knowledge management of American and European comp companies. Of great importance is the training of managers and professionals who generate and create new knowledge. Uh, the state needs to expand account in standards to take into account the market value of knowledge and other components of intellectual capital and not be uh, limited to intangible assets such as knowledge bases uh, software. Uh, this will help domestic enterprises to be more uh, active in investing in, in knowledge development 
creating new products and service products opening new market niches. Uh, this uh, this will allow domestic companies to expand their competitive uh, advantages and increase their intellectual capital. Enterprise uh, knowledge management will allow employers and the organization as a whole to learn new experience, uh, acquire new skills and abilities, improve to any uh, and interact effectively. A uh, few research will focus on developing recommendations and tools for more effective knowledge management enterprise. Uh, using foreign experience in the practice of domestic business, adapting the knowledge management system to specific condition of the enterprise, development of intangible assets, database, uh, software, patents, license, copyright. That's all. Uh, thank you for your attention. Thank you, Roman, for the presentation. Um, dear colleagues, please, maybe some questions for Roman for the presentation for the, about the research. Now, maybe Roman, I will ask one question. How do you think, what is the, the most useful practical result of your research? Uh, my result of my research? Uh, what, the most practical, the most useful, the, what, as, what, what's your idea? Um, I think it is a tendency in uh, Ukrainian business and Ukrainian uh, uh, companies and uh, enterprises. That the situation it is, uh, there are not uh, many in, in this. <clears throat> in, 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 there are not many investments in uh, business our company. Okay. What should we do to change it to, to have more investments? <laughs> let's let's the worst finishes. Let's we win first, and then we shall can go back to this question again. <laughs> Okay, it's, thank you, uh, Roman. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for the for for, for your advice, thank for you your for answers. You. Thanks a lot. Um, um I'm, I'm glad that one of our participants, Nikola Yakimenko, the one who's supposed to, uh, well, one of the co-authors of the uh, research um, called A Method of Determining the Fractal Dimension of Network Traffic by its probabilistic properties and experimental research of this method's work. Quality. Um, are you with us, Nicola? Yes, you are. Hello. Yes. Hello. Will you be able hello, to? Hello. Hello to everyone. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so please share the screen and. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, yes, we can see. Do you see? Yes, yeah. we do. We do. Uh, so. Uh, so, dear colleagues, I am glad to present to you our research a method of, uh, of determining the fractal dimension of network traffic by its probabilistic properties and experimental research of the quality of this method by uh, Hanna Dreyeva, Alexander Dreyeva, Elizabeth Meleshko, Mikola Kimenko, and uh, Volodymyr Mikhov, all from the Central Ukrainian National Technical University, Ukraine. Uh, uh, during researching and modeling information processes in telecommunication systems and computer networks, it is necessary to take into account the fractal properties of telecommunication traffic. In particular, uh, taking into account uh, such fractal properties significantly affect, affects, affects uh, the uh, results of simulation modeling of information exchange processes and accordingly the forecast of load for network equipment and detection of information attacks. Uh, the known methods for determining the fractal dimension, such as rescaled range or RS analysis, have significant errors and ambiguities in some cases. So it is advisable to develop new methods and therefore uh, so, uh, the task of improving the accuracy uh, uh, is relevant task. Uh, so uh, early we uh, proposed a method for determining the fractal dimension of network traffic by its probabilistic properties. Uh, the theoretical substitution are given in the paper in chapter 2.1. And here, uh, the main stages of the method uh, at the stage one, we accumulate uh, the binary time series for which fractal properties need to be determined. 
uh, at the stage two, we evaluate the probabilistic properties of the series, uh, the accumulated data, uh, calculate the number of occurrences of pairs of formats and zero, zero, and zero, one, and we obtain uh, the probability of lambda one uh, for the change of state from zero to one, uh, and uh, lambda uh, two for the change from uh, one to zero. And at stage three, we determine the fractal dimension of binary sequence by formula here, formula one, maybe written here, uh, it's the main formula. And in the paper, we uh, uh, estimate uh, the quality of the method. And here we uh, have the uh, Markov chain for generating fractal binary traffic, uh, two states, zero and one, uh, with probabilities P0 and P1, and uh, the uh, probability of transitions lambda zero to lambda three. And at the and here we have uh, the algorithm for generating fractal binary traffic uh, from entering uh, the initial uh, length and, and probability lambda. And uh, first we generate some series, uh, Linux of n or n plus one and uh, comparing uh, uh, for some random uh, array from interval from zero to one, uh, comparing with uh, probability, uh, we uh, change of initial uh, array uh, or uh, stay it uh, in touch. And here uh, we uh, the uh, we we. Uh, calculate the first exponent uh, according to the uh, risk drudge analysis algorithm is written in this, this typical uh, manner in Python 3 code. Uh, sorry. Uh, 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 and uh, uh, here we have the results of experimental measurement of the Hertz experiment by the RS analysis, uh, uh, vertical axis, first exponent and uh, horizontal probability lambda, uh, probability to step state and another horizontal axis steps of uh, cumulative sums. And the next we have the uh, algorithm uh, for uh, uh, plotted changes in the first exponent uh, for uh, different uh, values of lambda for probability. We uh, calculate uh, 100 times a random series of 10,000 values, which is generated, which first exponents are calculated with specified lengths of cumulative sums. Uh, the graph shows the average, uh, the graph on the next slides uh, shows the graph average for this uh, 100 measurements. And here we uh, can see the results of experimental measurement of the first exponent for cumulative sums uh, with uh, one three samples uh, with deviations of two sigma. Uh, first exponent and uh, values uh, minus two sigma and plus two sigma. And the results of experimental experiment uh, of experimental measurements of the first uh, exponent for cumulative sums in uh, with 100, 120, and 150 samples with deviations of two sigma. Uh, and we proposed the probabilistic approach for direct calculation of uh, fractal dimension uh, by its uh, Minkowski dimension, which is based on the probability uh, on the direct measurement of the probability of uh, change of the state from zero to one, uh, I zero, and from state one to state zero, R one according to the formula uh, Ilya for D with uh, this formula. Uh, 
uh, and here are our method uh, and results of the research of quality of report method of, and, its, and its comparison with our risk address range analysis are shown in the next table, uh, with the, sorry, in the next figure. Uh, and we have seen that results are very close to the uh, first to the uh, earth guide range method. Uh, but uh, if we uh, calculate uh, fractal dimension for risk guide range analysis, rest analysis methods, and proposed method with direct calculate of probabilities. Uh, we can uh, see uh, that uh, for probabilistic method, uh, deviation is lower. Uh, for risk card range, it's uh, 0 0.009, and uh, for our three times less. And deviations uh, uh, in percent are also lower for our method it's 1.9 and for deviations it's 2.6 and so as shown by experiments on simulated network traffic the proposed probabilistic methods has great uh, accuracy and uh, unambiguous results regardless of the length of the study it's serious in contrast to risk address analysis uh, it's uh, flow of the rescaled law of rescaled range analysis uh, that uh, its results depends on uh, lens of uh, series. Uh, rescaled range analysis gives different values for different legs of the cumulative sum, and the larger the step of cumulative sum, the more different the value of first exponent dependent, but it can be. Uh, this indicates the ambiguity of the risk range method and the possibility of manipulating the results by choosing the different legs of the cumulative sums. The proposed uh, probabilistic method does not have this disadvantage. Uh, uh, the developed method is unambiguous and does not in uh, the terms of lens of cumulative sums. It does not depend on the period of consideration because it does not use cumulative sums. Uh, Sorry. Uh, also, the developed method has a lower percentage deviations uh, from the mean value of the Hurst exponent, and therefore high accuracy in determining the fractal dimension. 2.04 risk conjunction analysis and 1.8 for our method. And thanks for your attention. Thank you, Mikola, so much. Uh, maybe some questions for our presenter? Not yet. Mikola, tell me, what is the best way to apply your results? What, uh, what, 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 what are the future application of your results like this? Like this, uh, for uh, the slide, uh, the slide, it's uh, some alternative method for forecasting uh, of load for network equipment, uh, detection of information attacks by uh, uh, predicting the traffic in typical way or when it uh, in some uh, malicious way, for example. Okay. Uh, or information you, security. Okay. Then when um, when we will use it as as the basic method of of optimization of of, of those processes, <laughs> when it will become popular? How do you, how do you think? Uh, <laughs> it's not so quick uh, <laughs> process, but maybe someday. In, uh, someday, three, five years, it, if it, uh, uh, with some improvements. With some improvements. Okay, I hope, I hope to see and to hear about those improvements at our next uh, conferences. I hope you will participate as well so we could understand how it was improved. Um, thank you so much, Mikola. Thank you very much for the thank presentation. You. Thank you. <laughs> Maybe more questions. If well, if no questions, then thank you again. Um, uh, our next presenter, uh, uh, the last but not least, 
uh, is uh, as much as I know, Oksana Markiv, uh, who will present the topic, the research about the, about the analysis of geoeconomic distribution of scientific publications, citation and self-citation standardized indices based on machine learning. Okay. Oh, yes, yes, we can see, yes, we can see you presenting. Yes, 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 we can okay. see. So sorry in advance for maybe some problems with my voice because I have some cough and so throat. So if there will be some obstacles, so sorry in advance, yes. Okay. So my name is Oksana Markiv. I am PhD in Structural Applied and Mathematical Linguistics uh, Assistant Professor, Department of Information Systems and Networks in the Polytechnic National University. And today I would like to present you our scientific work, analysis of geoeconomic distribution of scientific publication citation and self-citation standardized indices based on machine learning. Uh, our, my presentation will take approximately 10 minutes, so feel free for questions at the end. I'm going to be focused on such main aspects of our research as visualization and analysis for geoeconomic distribution research, what is numerical characteristics, relationships between numerical and nominal uh, data, as well as methods of using conventional perceptrons, and the use of neural networks to identify or refute the existence of nonlinear and complex relationships between parameters of water and his level of uh, self-citation. Uh, studying of such relationships requires certain maps and algorithmic apparatus, backpropagation algorithms, and it is highlighted that some algorithms for generating the requiring type of data, their visualization and uh, tokenization have been supplemented, fulfilling the cor correlation matrix that uh, are used uh, is used in our research. Uh, the next slide, uh, <clears throat> another example is tokenization, which is used to convert some strings fields into numerical vectors. Uh, so this is shown on this slide number four, and there is some UML diagram of activity and uh, tokenization. Here is, there are four data sets that uh, we have studied in our scientific work. In general, I would like to concentrate your attention that the study was based on several data sets, including about 160,000 authors. Uh, and uh, these uh, four data sets uh, are depicted here on slide. You can uh, get acquainted with uh, them. Uh, so, first data set about authors contain uh, four, uh, 46 fields. Uh, and uh, here are diagrams that show that gro the growth of self citation in the same year. The next slide uh, demonstrates uh, the second data set uh, research data on the GDP of countries according to World Bank from this data set. So two fields were used. ISO 3, uh, representation of the country name, and actual value of uh, GDP. Here is the info is information is obtained from Transparency International it's needed to translate. So it is visible that it's needed to translate data into CVC format. And you can uh, see one of the investigation tasks that was, uh, uh, was calculation of percentage of self citation, citation depending on several parameters. And some uh, program part uh, is depicted, uh, depicted on slide number nine. When working with data approaches and technologies, the important work is visualization and representation on graphs of parameters. Simultaneously, the basic principle of developing such graphs using uh, GG plots, uh, GG ridges, patchwork have been considered. And the main type of graph is uh, lollipop, as it's shown uh, from this slide. Develop template to look uh, like this. The last part of research uh, was in neural networks development, and, and figure six demonstrates the topology of four perceptron models. The paper demonstrates, our work demonstrates uh, four types of perceptrons used for um, this research of uh, um, 
numerical uh, of uh, dependence of substitution of numerical and nominal characteristic of data. Here as a TensorFlow used as a library for Python to build Percy transcends the model itself built using the functional API and data set for learning testing models from the initial worksheet of the author developed code. Important type of displaying relationship uh, between data uh, is uh, the thermal map and uh, such kind of correlation analysis based on the tokenization using the correlation uh, thermal heat matrix is shown slide number 11. The presence of such correlations means uh, the self citation doesn't have a strong impact on the performance of uh, uh, authors and uh, therefore is not used uh, uh, therefore self plagiarism is not used as a source of increasing the author rating because um, it will be explained why on the next slide. Yes, the next important aspect uh, uh, is a self citation percentage correlation uh, to other parameters. So, this slide number 13 demonstrates distribution of the percentage of self citation by countries. And uh, to this is a global picture of uh, GAO distribution. Uh, there is a graph in order to understand uh, how, uh, how GAO distribution influences. Uh, this uh, correlation between parameters and uh, self citation. Uh, correlation matrix map shows the presence of linear relationships between ash indices, number of articles, and citations. Uh, the map shows that there is a linear uh, relationship between GDP and the number of citations, and it's shown on these figures as the slide number 50. Uh, so, regression analysis of the relationship between the number of citation and ASH index show that approximation function must have the form of exponents visible of these graphs. As it was described, uh, as it was said by me um, at the beginning, uh, our um, team presents four persitrons uh, created uh, for tokenization. And after tokenization, a new CVC file was obtained. And uh, also, it is shown that uh, no network has any level of accuracy determining the level of the author self citation on the available parameters. And this result is shown here. Analysis of geoeconomic distribution of parameters, as it was said, uh, is uh, very correlated with the GDP of uh, countries. Here is, uh, there is a three dimensional histogram of self citation distribution by countries and uh, categories, and uh, shown that uh, such properties have no significant relationships with level of uh, self citation. So the analysis has confirmed, as we have said, that there is connection between the economic development of the country and its GDP. And our further research requires to expand the subject area by finding other possible sources of data in order to understand how different spheres influence of self citation if, and maybe uh, some results will be improved and something will be new shown in our future research study. So thank you for attention. If there are some questions, I invite you for questions. Thank you, Oksana. So, so questions? No questions, Oksana. <laughs> Maybe, well, uh, we all have uh, our uh, emails uh, and we can see each other's presentations. So if there will be some questions, we will find the way to contact you, okay? Okay, happy to okay. receive it. <laughs> Thank you, Oksana, very much. Um, I have uh, uh, actually, there are two more presentations which were not presented by Serhii Vladov, Yuri Shmelyov, and Ruslan Yakovlev. You know, maybe some technical problems. Well, we all have access uh, to the presentations and we check, can check it and then contact our authors. Well, um, to say the truth, that's all for today. I was, uh, I'm very grateful that you as the auditory was very fruitful. And uh, I like the way we, we spend this time and I like all those questions and all those discussions. Um, I'm very glad that you've decided to participate in our uh, this workshop about intelligent system in, in and, and, and applied intelligent system section. Um, if you have some questions, maybe some suggestions for future 
um, of the conference of, 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 my, <laughs> of my future. If you have some uh, ideas, then please share. Mm, I would be very grateful for the, for the feedback. Oh, like that. Okay, maybe, well, you can write me, uh, you can write at the uh, Collins conference email and, and with your feedback, if you, if you have some suggestions and ideas. Um, I would like to, to, to thank you again and again for the participation, uh, for, um, for staying alive, for working. It's our field of battle and um, wish you all the best. And... Um, I hope to see you the, the next year at all or our next uh, events and discuss your new uh, ideas and new developments and new researchers. Thank you very much. Thanks. Okay, okay. Oh, everyone has muted their microphones and said something, yes? <laughs> Thank you very much for your work and very good organization because it's really a very hard work to organize such a conference. So. Thank you very much. Everything was okay and uh, very perfect. Thank you so much. And oh, just someone is visiting me. Okay, thank you so much. And hope to see you soon in the next, next, next events. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. Thank Bye. you. See you next time. Okay, goodbye, 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 goodbye. Thanks a lot. See you. Goodbye.